cry havoc and let slip the bees of war. Hey, what's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we got Bumblebee looking all like Bumblebee Studio Series Gamer Edition Transformers. On this side of the box, we have Bumblebee. On this side of the box, we have Bumblebee again. He is a deluxe class, class, no, no, class, a class, and a no, oh. on top, Transformers War for Cybertron, on the bottom, words, things, and stuff, on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a brief bio, if you want to read it in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Gamer Edition Bumblebee as he appears in War for Cybertron. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode and, uh, it's alright. <laughs> It's okay. But let's get it close here so we can take a look not at that big old belly of his, but at that noggin. There's the noggin. I do very much like the head sculpt, though. Looks good. Looks nice and Bumblebee-ish. Nice silver there on the face, bright blue for the eyes, really pops. Do you quite dig that head sculpt? You got the black and red there on the shoulders, on the sides here, Autobot symbol front and center. His big old chest, which just looks like a belly, just looks like a belly, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's kind of what it looks like in the game, but in the game it still makes it look a bit better, and you know. We'll, we'll see when we do comparisons also, and uh, one thing that I don't like about this figure is that he doesn't have much of a body, because it just looks like, it looks like chest, belly, and then his legs just stick out from there. It's like, where's his waist? Where's his lower body? It's like kind of, it's just hidden up in here, and you can't really see it, and it just looks like he's a, a chest with legs. It's just, it's very oddly, oddly proportioned, but you yeah, know, it is what it is. There you have his little toesies. And move up the back. Not too much to talk about. It's got a hollow booty. Hollow bumble booty. A honeycomb booty. <laughs> you got the backpack going on there. But yeah, you got that going on. Now, articulation wise, on the head is on a ball joint. You got your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, do a little, little bit of squirrel. You can look down a bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You can move these shoulder pads if you want to. They're on a hinge. just more for transformation, but it moves if you need it to move. You got bicep rotation. Got 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. Um, no wrist rotation. You have inward movement here. That's for transformation, but it moves if you need it to move. Um, you do have waist rotation. Legs can go forward. Only that far before his belly gets in the way. Back that far. Outward. He can do the full splits. You got, oops, you can completely pop his leg off. That's not, that's not what you're supposed to do. You got thigh rotation right there. This part likes to come undone pretty easily also. That's a bit annoying. Uh, you got actually a pretty nice bend at the knee, although you're kind of undoing this to get to it. But if you leave it clipped in place, you still get a little over 90 degrees of bend there. As far as the feet go on the toes, can move up a little bit. They can move down a lot for transformation. And you have like a little bit of inward tiltage, a lot of outward tiltage for transformation, but a little bit of inward tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you get not one, not two, but three weapons. That's right, we get... His little uh, bumble sword, which is just cast in a dark gray. No paint on it, unfortunately. Some nice molding. They got the bumble sword. You get two blasters. Now, bear in mind, I, I have not played the game since it came out, so I don't know what the guns are called. I didn't know what they were called when I was playing it, so, you know, <laughs> it's, it's nothing has changed, really. But you get this gun right here. For all of you who know what it's called, you know what it's called. God bless you. I'm not going to, even if you tell me, I'm, I guarantee you, I'm not going to remember because, you know, <laughs> just the way my brain works. But you got this blaster right here, and you also get a big old bumble cannon here. Which again, nicely detailed, but unfortunately no paint on it at all. Um, you can store these on his back. You have slots right here, so you can take one, plug it right there. You can take the other and plug it back here. You can only store two weapons at a time. You can't store all three, unfortunately, unless you just kind of hang that back there. <laughs> you can do that, but you know, things you can do if you want to do it. 
Um, we can have him, of course, holding his Bumble Sword. We'll put it in that hand. And just like the other figures, you can rip off his forearm. And only this side comes off. Only the right arm comes off. And we can plug in this blaster like so. And he can pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. Although that's a little, little dinky looking blaster. I don't much care for that. I like the Bumble Cannon. So we're going to put the Bumble Cannon in there. And there we go. That looks a bit more substantial. So you can pew, pew, hack, hack, pew, pew, poke, poke, and all that good stuff. And yes, the weapons are Blush compatible. Yes, they are Blush compatible. This one is Blush compatible. It can plug right in. Yay. And we can plug it into the Bumble Cannon here. And we can do a big old Bumble. Blush. Oh, it's that Bumble Blush. Oh, yeah. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the Gamer Edition Barricade. With the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. So you can see how those two look side by side. And I think they look good together. And here he is with the original War for Cybertron Deluxe Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. And I do have to say, I think the original one looks a lot better he looks like he actually has like a whole body you know that definitely that works for me <laughs> but you know as always just my opinion to each their own but i think yeah the original one looks a lot better so that is basically it's for the robot mode and it's okay there are aspects of it i like there are aspects of it that i don't really much care for but you know hey it is what it is but let's get down to transformation shall we let's so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take his hands here. We're just going to flip them in and then take this wheel and just bring it down. You will feel it just kind of thoop itself into place right there. Same thing on the other side. Just flip that in and bring it down until it thoops. Just take your shoulder pads and just rotate them up like so. And once you've done that, you want to take this whole chest assembly and untab it. It just tabs in right up in here. Untab it and just bring it all the way up, bring it as far back as it will go, like that. Once we are here, we just take the center panel and just push it all the way through, like that. And now we're going to take the arms and just swing them in on either side, like that. They have these little sections here that you're just going to swing out and swing out. Like that. They're just going to rotate the arm in at the bias up and then just bring this wheel section up. It has a little lip that this needs to sit over, so just make sure it just clips right in, like so. Same thing on the other side, second vest, just like the vest. Bring it up and just kind of clip it in, like so. Now we're going to take this whole section here and just rock this down until all of that is sitting level right there. You're going to rotate is waist 180. Now you're going to bring just this waist section up at this hinge. And you can see here there are these little these little tabs right here. It's going to go into this slot right here. If you don't do that, then things are not going to line up properly back here. So bring that up and just kind of get the legs out of the way so you can see what you're doing and just take it and just pop that up. I don't know how you can see it, but it's very awkward. <laughs> kind of awkward. Uh, angle right there but just so you can kind of see what's going on but you basically just want this sitting like that so once that's done now we can work on his legs so just bend the knee and then take this whole assembly and just untab it bring it around take his foot and swing it up and over his thigh like that this little bit here will just flip down then you take his toe and bring it up and you got that side done second verse guess what just like the first so just bend that knee Swing this around to the other side, flip the foot up and over, bring this bit down, fold the toe up, and you got that done. So once you got that done, you're going to take this and swing it up. You have three connection points here. You have two tabs, you have two slots, then you have this tab right here, which is going to go into a notch right there. So I find that lining up these two tabs first is the best way to go. So line that up, and then you can take that and just pop it in. And there you go. And second verse, of course, you know what it's like, just like the first. Bring that up and then just notch that in. And 
There you go. Once that is done, last thing to do is take this back panel here, just bring it down. You got two slots right there to receive the tabs. Push that in, get it all nice and squozy. Make sure this little panel, this panel wants to pop itself up. There you go. Make sure that's sitting nice and flush. Get it all, get it all going. Get it all nice and squozy like. And there you go. There you have a bumblebee in his alt mode. Whoa! Hey, hey! There he is in his alt mode. And just like with Barricade, I, I feel like this figure shines the most in its alt mode. I think the alt mode looks great. The alt mode looks fantastic, in my opinion. Really dig it. This little potato on wheels. I dig it. I really dig it. But let's get in close. Yes, we can take a look at those details. This is everything we've already seen in robot mode, but still looks good. Love the detailing up in here. Looks really nice. You got that black and red going on. Big old wheels. See the rims there, painted in yellow. Lots of detail going on. Of course, as always, could use some more paint, but not too bad. You got the taillights there picked out in paint at least. Yeah, there's the top. There is the bottom. We do have razor boy. Hey, she, it's there. Hi, how you doing? He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray for rolling. Then for comparison, here he is with Barricade. With... Prime! And with the original War for Cybertron Bumblebee. And again, the original does look better overall, but this one, the, the new one's not bad either. I think it looks quite good as well. So again, hey, do each their own. Now, as far as accessories go, you can store all of his accoutrement on him. Now, as far as this particular blaster goes, you use this tab and plug it into this slot right here underneath. And that just stores in nice and neatly. And as far as the other weapons go, uh, the sword, you just tab in back here. You can tab the Bumble Cannon back here if you want to, if you want it more out of the way. But the instructions want you to plug it in right up top, of course. Things you can do if you want to do it. So, there you go. And of course, the last thing is the included base of displayage that resides within the box. Open a box, pull basage out of box, throw away box, open that up, and there we have a nice little backdrop there. 01 Studio Series Gamer Edition, all that good stuff. We can take the Bumblemeister, plop him down, and again, displays, options, they're good. So there you have Bumblebee, and um, yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Um, the robot mode, it's it's all right. Just the body proportions are just weird. He just looks like a chest with legs, and it just it's just like where's the rest of his body? I don't know. It just it, it looks very weird. The alt mode, I think, looks great. The alt mode, I feel, is where this figure really shines. That looks really good, in my opinion. Overall, of course, as always, I feel it could use a bit more color, but you know what? For what it is, not bad. Not a great figure, not a bad figure, just kind of a weird figure, really. But hey, you know me, I like weird. You know, birds of a feather and all that, but... <laughs> there you go! Now I got this from BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Deluxe Class Bumblebee, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face! Prime! Prime! The Decepticons are breaching our defenses! Oh no! This is bad! Do we have any duct tape? Duct tape? Yeah, duct tape! You can fix anything with duct tape! I don't think duct tape is gonna save us in this situation, sir! Well... Aren't you just a negative Nancy? <laughs> I'll show you! What, show me what doesn't work? Okay!